The ocean is home to a vast array of life forms on a scale most of us would never appreciate. Over 226,000 of them have been identified, but it's estimated there may be up to a million different creatures lurking in the deep. The internet is rife with lists of some of the most unusual, but they often repeat themselves and pick creatures we've all seen before, like goblin sharks or gulp reels. Weird, for sure, but also well known. Luckily for us, there are still thousands and thousands more to choose from. Here are 10 of the strangest. Number 10. Duobrachium sparksae. No one will accuse Duobrachium sparksae of having an easy to pronounce or remember name, indeed. But until someone coins a better name, that's all we have. It's a kind of comb jelly, and it was only discovered in the waters near Puerto Rico back in 2015. The little critter survives in very deep waters, about 3,900 meters below, and it resembles a sort of living bubble. Scientists remarked, with the long tendril like appendages hanging off it, it looks a bit like a hot air balloon. When viewed from the tentacle side, it looks a bit like a box. The central blob actually has two arms, from which much longer tentacles can extend. The retractable tentacles are 12 to 22 inches in length and root the creature to the sea floor, helping to control its position. Number 9. Mariana Snailfish Deep sea life is always interesting because the environment is about as alien as it can possibly get to our planet. The creatures that live beyond where light can penetrate and where pressure would crush us to smithereens are often incredibly unusual to our eyes. And scientists have discovered what they think may be the deepest living fish of them all, the Mariana snailfish. Inhabiting the deepest part of the ocean, the Mariana Trench, you can see these fish yourself if you make the journey down to 26,000 feet. They grow to under a foot in length and have translucent skin and no scales. Their diet to consist of tiny crustaceans that also make their home at the depth, and as you'd expect, they don't have to endure a lot of predators down there. Number 8. Pink See Through Fantasia. There's no way an animal that managed to stag the name Pink See Through Fantasia is anything but weird, so rest easy that this one absolutely lives up to its name completely. In fairness, the proper name for this deep sea cucumber is any Anyponiastes, and some people will also call it the headless chicken fish, so. Well, you've got a bunch of choice. The cucumber uses bioluminescence to ward off predators and has transparent skin. That ensures that its mouth, stomach, and anus are all visible no matter what angle you're looking at it from. It's also fairly small, ranging from 4 inches to just 9 inches in length. You're not likely to find this creature in your own travels. It hangs out at depths around 2,500 meters, although they have a range of about 1,000 meters up and down through the water column. They use tiny webbed fins to swim and use little tentacles to push sediment into their mouths to eat. Number 7. Pura Chilensi Amazingly, this curious creature isn't one of these new bizarre discoveries of the last few years. This creature, a tunicate, was actually first described back in 1782. And it's just as weird to most people today as it was back then, simply because it looks like a rock that has guts and blood inside it. The Piura chilensi doesn't just look like a rock, it lives like one too. It can't move anywhere on its own, so it just filters water, sucking it in and feeding on microorganisms along the way. So how does an immobile rock monster reproduce? Well, they're all born male, but partway through their life, they become hermaphrodites and just breed with themselves, shooting both sperm and eggs into the water around them until they meet, fertilize, and germinate into a new living rock. Despite the creepy appearance, people actually eat them and you can cook them or enjoy them raw. Enjoy might be a bit of a stretch though, since the taste is described using words like bitter, iodine, and soapy. Number 6. Zombie Worms The deep sea Ossidax, also known as the zombie worm, has no mouth or anus and drills into whale bones. That's a pretty intense resume for anything living on land, sea, or in the air. Despite not having a digestive tract, let alone a mouth, these mysterious worms wait for a whale fall, which is what happens when a whale dies and then sinks to the bottom of the sea. They then latch onto the corpse. Their flesh secretes acid, which allows them to bore right into the bones. Once inside, a symbiotic bacterial process allows for the digestion of fats and enzymes that the worms then absorb. It's not the easiest way to get a meal, but it works for them. If none of that was weird enough for you, know that the worms you can see are always female. Males remain in the larval stage their entire lives, living in a slime tube that encases the female and exists solely to fertilize her eggs when the time comes. Number 5. Beehive Shrimp The idea of animals living in colonies or hives is very common up here on the surface. Ants, bees, termites, and many more live this way, where one queen seems to rule the roost and the rest of the colony serves her needs. They call this eusociality, and it's only been observed in one marine species, a shrimp known as Cynophaeus regalis. The shiny shrimp live in coral and sponges, and come in a variety of bright colors. They're snapping shrimp, which means they have one giant claw and one little claw to make them look either intimidating or hilarious depending on your perspective. Like any good hive society, the shrimp have a queen. Colonies can grow to over 300 members, but there is only one female capable of reproduction. Hive members care for the young, protect their colony from predators, and work in a communal way to accomplish tasks. 
Number four, stubby squid. Discovering a new species is exciting for anyone in the scientific community, and traditionally those of us who just have a passing interest in animals just hear about it secondhand. But the stubby squid is one creature whose discovery you can actually watch firsthand on video since it was recorded by researchers on the EV Nautilus back in 2016. And this may be the only time in history that we'll ever know for sure when a new species discovery was accompanied by laughter from everyone involved because the animal looked so goofy. You can hear the crew puzzle over what the little creature might be, and then laugh as they zoom in and point out that it looks like it has googly eyes. The tiny creatures are between 0.3 inches and 3 inches in length, which accentuates just how funny the eyes look, since they're so large relative to the rest of it. Number 3. Phrenema Phrenema is the name of a terrifying but blessedly small ocean parasite that some believe inspired the alien queen from the movie Aliens. Right away, that's a creepy thought for any living thing, but in both looks and behavior, the Phrenema scores big points for being monstrous. Parasites are found almost everywhere on Earth in the oceans except in polar waters. Unlike other similar species, Phrenema swim in open waters instead of waiting for food to find them on the sea floor. This is because they're on the hunt for a ride. Phrenema, which have dangerous if tiny claws, hunt down other creatures called salps. A salp is a barrel-shaped tunica that, for all intents and purposes, looks like a small living piece of jello. A Phrenema will hunt down a salp and use its claws to hollow out the inside and then move right in. The Phrenema can now sail the seven seas, protected inside their sort of living boat, eating and drinking and reproducing as they go. Somehow the salp, which is a peculiar form of life to begin with, doesn't fully die despite being hollowed out. The outer cells stay alive, so the whole salp boat structure maintains its shape and protects the phrenema inside. As far as the link to Alien goes, this story seems to be wholly anecdotal. That said, there are some convincing side-by-side -side photos that suggest the Alien Queen, rather than H.R. Geiger's original Alien, may have been inspired by the little monster. Number 2. Pig Butt Worm how do you make a list of strange sea creatures and not include one that is legitimately named the pig butt worm? If that sounds too uncouth for you, you can use its alternative name, flying buttocks. Discovered in 2007, the pig butt worm is a worm, but it's round, the size of a hazelnut, and yes, it looks like a flying butt. It floats about around 3,000 to 4,000 feet below the surface, and their tiny mouths are caked in mucus to complete the image in your mind. Nearly every other species of worm closely related to the pig butt lives in a tube, so this free flow floating bum is a standout on its family tree. The working theory is that they float around in clouds of detritus and tiny bits of biomatter, and then eat whatever sticks to their mouth mucus. Number 1. Giant Siphonophore The word giant sets up some expectations, and when we're talking about the ocean, there's a standard to live up to. This is the home of the blue whale, after all, the largest creature that has ever existed. So if there's something in the sea called a giant siphonophore, it better be impressive. Luckily, the name isn't just smoke and mirrors. This thing really is huge. It's not as bulky as a blue whale, but it's by no means a slouch. There are nearly 200 kinds of siphonophores in the sea, and describing them isn't all that easy in layman's terms. To start with, they're colonial organisms, which means it's not a thing but a group of things. But they're not all the same things. Different parts have different functions. There's a sort of main part that you might consider a head, and then there are other parts that develop independently, which can help the whole organism eat or swim or digest and other such functions. Think of it a bit like a deep see Voltron, several small parts that are assembled to make a functional whole. The giant siphonophore is about as thick as a broom handle. Not really that giant at all. However, it can grow to be upwards of 130 feet long. That makes it one of the longest creatures in the world by a long shot, having to compete only with the bootlace worm, which has been observed to grow slightly longer. That said, one that was seen off the coast of Australia was estimated to be 150 feet long. Luckily for those of us who are not giants, the giant siphonophore is relatively harmless and feeds on small crustaceans and other animals, which can best be described as gelatinous. It uses bioluminescence to attract its prey and uses a toxin similar to that employed by a jellyfish to poison its prey. That part does sound dangerous, but you need to remember that these are deep sea creatures. They actually can't exist near the surface and their bodies will burst if they're brought up to surface pressure.